Hello everyone, nice to have you back for another episode of our 107 channel. Today's topic is our OBD, which is a so-called X92 test socket with 8 pins for the models of years of production from 1986 onwards. This OBD is a simplified diagnostic device to check and detect SRS defaults quickly. This may make you smile, but it was customary in the 80s. This is technology of the 80s. We will explain that right after the introduction. Please watch this video till the very end when the drop down lists are being explained. We are back, welcome to my engine bay. This one here is being called X92, test socket box, onboard diagnostic device. Welcome to the 80s and to open it just pop the plastic cover. Here you see the 8 sockets. To test this we merely need an analog multimeter with 3 connection wires with banana plug tips. Let us start. Blue cable is being plugged into minus. The red cable is being plugged into socket number 6. Set your multimeter to 12 volts DC direct current. Then turn the ignition key to position 1. And now take the third cable and connect it to the lateral additional socket of the plug which is sitting in socket number 6. The display of the multimeter shows me a 12 volts. I now place the leftover end of the cables to ground just anywhere on bare metal for at least 3 seconds. The needle strikes one time fully to the right. I lift the tip off the ground. A couple of seconds later I hold the tip of the plug to ground again for at least 3 seconds. It strikes fully to the right one time, which you do not include into counting. The following 5 strikes do count. You can now look it up at your chart. It tells you number 5, which is the seat belt driver side. If you do not have such an analog multimeter at hand, there is another simple way of telling what is wrong and which component is faulty. Just get a prolongation to extend the length of the third cable in a way that it is long enough to reach into the cockpit so you can put the tip somewhere there to ground. You simply count the pins of the lights in your control panel. Here you count all the pins. To delete the error I need to connect the tip of the cable anywhere on ground for at least 6 seconds for the error that was indicated directly before deletion. We are close to the end of this very video, so-called read errors of the X92 8-pin test socket box of our 107 series for the years of production from 1986 onwards. You now get the drop-down charts with the error codes and the appropriate components which are not working properly. If you have liked this video, I would be happy to get your thumb up if you please share this video to make our community grow and to form a sort of brain pool to learn from each other, share knowledge, give useful advice. This is the actual purpose of this channel. Hope to see you again next time. Take care everyone. Bye bye.